always tune your guitar with your capo on it if you're playing with a capo, okay? So a lot of people, they tune up their guitar and then they just put a capo like as high up on the, on the, on the neck as they can and then That just sounds terrible. You've got to put the capo up where you want it, work out what notes they are, and then tune them like that, because otherwise it'll just never be in tune, okay? So you start off with that. So let's say we're up on the ninth fret, so I know that is a C sharp. See, all these are sharp. Right, now the tuner tells me that I am in tune. And it almost is, but you always want to first figure out um, what what chords you're actually going to be playing. Let's say I'm going to be playing uh, G and, and, and D and C. Okay. Now, what I really want to do is I want to make sure that it's in tune to those chords. So this will be um, an E major. So it's going it, This is an E. There we go, you see, now it's in tune. The reason why you tune it differently if you're playing in, say, like E and, e and A is because the D, the open D chord, and the open A chord on a guitar will never be in tune together on a guitar, okay? It, you, you cannot tune your guitar in such a way that they are always in tune. So if I'm playing G and D and C, I'll tune it to that. If I'm playing open E and open a and stuff like that then I'll tune it to that okay but either way now we've tuned it to the chord now that's in tune we take it off our tune so we've got to do the same thing here so wherever you put your capo if it's open tune it to the chords that you're going to be playing and you'll have a much better result